breaking, second missile alarm just went off, now we know real reason this keeps happening. The threat of a missile launch from North Korea has been very real, especially on Saturday when people got an alert that an attack was on the way in to take shelter. As terrified people scrambled for cover, fearing for their lives, it was learned the alarm was not a drill, but also not real. Somehow, the person in charge of pushing the alert button accidentally did so. It seems strange that we can go all these years without anyone accidentally hitting the missile alert button and then it happens not once, but now twice. Another missile alert just went out and it's not coincidental. Every person in Hawaii with a cell phone got the last text they ever wanted to see on Saturday that came over like an amber alert, but was worse. In a quick glance on their screen they learned that it might be the last thing they see on this planet as a missile was supposedly on the way to the island from North Korea. The alert system was real, just was supposedly accidental, but now people in Japan are getting the same warning today that North Korea launched ballistic missiles. Hawaii has been on edge this year over North Korea's threats to nuke the United States that have been backed up by missile and nuclear bomb tests, the Gateway Pundit reported. It's not just Hawaii. Japanese officials sent out a false North Korea missile alert on Tuesday. While authorities are saying it too was an accident, it seems to be that this was not just another bogus drill but perhaps had far more reason behind it. According to CNN, Japanese national broadcaster NHK issued an on-air apology Tuesday after issuing an alert incorrectly claiming that North Korea had launched a ballistic missile. The message, received by phone users with the NHK app installed on their devices, read, NHK News Alert. North Korea likely to have launched missile. The government J alert, evacuate inside the building or underground. The broadcaster apologized for the error adding the news alert sent earlier about 10K missile was a mistake. No government J alert was issued. The mistake was corrected within minutes. So, who's trigger happy here, the person behind the alert buttons or despot dictator behind the missiles? These alerts should be taken seriously otherwise if and when the real deal occurs, it could be taken as a cry wolf scenario. Are we being desensitized to this alert or was there actually real reason to believe that a missile was coming and then that threat failed on launch? It seems that they wouldn't want to cause real mass hysteria so rather than making it sound that we are closer to an attack than they are, they simply excused it by calling it an accident. How has this so-called accident never happened before but has now just happened twice in three days? Hopefully, the third time is not a charm. It's clear that North Korea will stop at nothing including perfecting their missile to hit America. Reuters reports. The mistake took place at a tense time in the region following North Korea's largest nuclear test to date in September and its claim in November that it had successfully tested a new type of intercontinental ballistic missile that could reach all of the U.S. mainland. Pyongyang regularly threatens to destroy Japan and the United States. But there were no immediate reports of panic or other disruptions following the NHK report. A similar gaffe caused panic in the U.S. state of Hawaii at the weekend. NHK 6.55 p.m., 0955 GMT, alert on its website said, North Korea appears to have launched a missile. The government urges people to take shelter inside buildings or underground. The same alert was sent to mobile phone users of NHK's online news distribution service. In five minutes, the broadcaster put out another message on the website correcting itself and said no government warning, called J-Alert, had been issued. This happened because equipment to send a news flash onto the internet had been incorrectly operated. We're deeply sorry, an NHK announcer said on its 9 p.m. news program, bowing deeply in apology. Given the documented history of the United States' role in arming North Korea with the very weapons the reclusive state is now threatening to use against Americans, the constant drumbeat of fear-mongering by the U.S. media about North Korea's intentions is missing a huge part of the story, InfoWars reported. Well, folks, this is what happens when you have over three decades of appeasement. President Clinton thought it was a great idea to give these savages $2 billion and two nuclear reactors, both Bush thought it was a great idea to just ignore or kick the can down the road, 
and Barack Hussein Obama thought it wise to just apologize for our nation's sins in hopes the world will love us because he was now the president. None of these things worked. And to think the stupid American populace almost elected another Clinton to the White House. Crooked Hillary would have probably given Kim Jong-un the long-range nuclear missiles herself for a small contribution to the Clinton Foundation. This time the text was a mistake, but someday it won't if we don't take care of this threat once and for all, and for all.